This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. This week, A Mobster's Tale. The Many Saints of Newark functions as an indirect prequel to The Sopranos series. It's a standalone story from The Sopranos, the hugely popular HBO series that has enjoyed a revival of late. Set roughly 30 years before the start of the series, Saints is the study of a legendary character mentioned throughout, but whom the audience never actually meets, Dickie Moltisanti, the man who served as a mentor to the young Tony Soprano and whose son, Christopher, became Tony's adopted nephew and protege. We never see Dickie because he was killed in the 1970s for reasons that remain unclear. Having Christopher as the narrator is an interesting framing device because, as fans know, Chrissy wasn't exactly reliable. Nonetheless, his explanations taken at face value shed light on several characters and themes from the show. At its heart, The Sopranos was always about family, the ones chosen and the ones people are born into, in this case, Dickie, played by Alessandro Nivola, has what can only be called a complicated relationship with both. Ray Liotta does a fine job as Hollywood Dick and twin brother Sally in familiar roles. And, of course, there's also the relationship with the young Tony, played mostly by the late James Gandolfini's real-life son, Michael. As we know, Tony ultimately makes his choice to go in a certain direction, but the what-if question remains. Michael Gandolfini appears to have inherited both his late father's looks and acting ability, and watching him work is a delight, though he's a bit underused. The movie is a revealing chapter in the Soprano story and saves its best twist for last. As Tony might have said, The Many Saints of Newark ends in a way many may never see coming. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. Catch up with us at Take Two Movie Review.com and feed us back on our channel on YouTube.